Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. Gel trait is supplied in a powder, and in general, is supplied in a large can such as this. It also is supplied in pre-weighed packages in foil, but the most common packaging system that you will find in the dental office will be this uh, large can. The powder is mixed with water and then is spatulated and after complete spatulation of one minute for the regular set material it is placed in the impression tray. What I would like to demonstrate is simply the mixing of alginate with water. The dispensing of the powder is done with this small cup in order to be sure that you get the same amount of powder each time, the can of gel trait should be aerated. So it should be turned over several times before uh, using this powder dispenser. Before we make the dispensing with powder, however, you should dispense the water. The manufacturer supplies a little cup with three marks on it. The water level for this particular mix will be for a full mouth impression, so we will use three scoops of powder and we will use three divisions of water, in other words, one, two, and three. The water temperature should be checked because high temperatures will accelerate this setting reaction. So the temperature of the water should be about 70 degrees Fahrenheit. We take the three measures of water then, the three levels, this is poured into a rubber mixing bowl. Then we will aerate the sample of alginate. The scoop is lightly placed in the alginate can. The cup is gently tapped with the spatula to remove large voids and then struck off flush. We will use three of these scoops because we are using three portions of the water. Do not pack the scoop tightly into the powder, otherwise you will use too much powder and you will get too thick a mix. Now we will start the stopwatch because the, this particular mix should be mixed for one full minute. Initially we're simply only trying to wet the powder. Once the powder has been wet, then we use essentially a stropping action in order to thoroughly mix this material. It will seem rather stiff at first, but it will become less viscous as you continue making the mix. Now one minute seems like a long time to mix so that you probably should check your initial mixes with a stopwatch to be sure that you are mixing one full minute. The material can be collected from around the sides And you can see that with this technique, you should get a nice, smooth, creamy consistency. Now we should be approaching the one minute mark. Now we will collect the material and place it in the impression tray. Now generally, it's advisable to start from the posterior and add the material and then sort of uh, spread it into the anterior region. You try to have the bulk of the material or the larger bulk of the material in the anterior region and not have a lot of excess material in the posterior area. So at this point now you're ready to take the impression. 
The setting time of regular alginate is approximately three and a half minutes from the start of the mixing. Most regular alginates will have about this setting time. However, they can vary from anywhere from two minutes to four and a half minutes and still be certified products of the American Dental Association. There are times when a very fast set material is required, particularly when patients uh, have a very strong gag reflex. It's highly important to leave the impression in the mouth as short a period as, t as possible. Therefore, the manufacturers supply you with a fast set material that can be used. This is gel trade fast set and has a setting time between one and two minutes rather than three and a half minutes. As a result of this, the mixing time is now 45 seconds rather than one full minute. So I'll make a mix now of the gel trait fast set material. Again, we'll be using a three scoop mix so that we'll use a full portion of water, in other words, three uh, marks on the water dispenser. We'll pour this in again into the rubber mixing bowl. We'll aerate the, the powder again. Again, we'll dispense three scoops of powder. We will start the stopwatch now, and we'll mix for 45 seconds. Again, simply attempt to wet the powder first, and then finally, with a stropping action of the blade of the spatula against the side of the rubber mixing bowl, we'll give you good mixing of this material. Again, it's wise to collect the material up and then spread it out again over the uh, surface of the mixing bowl. We're now beginning to approach the 45 second mark. We'll discontinue mixing and we simply then would go ahead and load the tray with this material. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu/license.